Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. I'm your host, Xenolith. In the last episode, we have expanded quite a lot and conquered one of the AI players with minor help from the roving clans. It's been like three days since I've played, so I'll need to go over my empire for just a second to see what I was doing. Oh, this one, great. Well, nothing seems to be stuck. I know quest texts don't increase your um, research costs. Now that we have stockpiles, there is in fact the reason now to put everything into industry, namely to grow new cities and cities that have food problems. Also, while it may seem counterintuitive to build industry stockpiles with industry, it really helps to get those small cities going. There is a difference between those two, by the way. Plus, free and terrain with food includes districts. So, if you've settled on districts that have base food, this one is a lot better, especially in large cities. Let's get those strategic resources rolling in. Four turns. I think that one is better because some of those other cities are really behind and I don't want to spend my dust on it as long as I can avoid it because I'll need my dust for governors and for resources Let's 
so... Is there another river? There's this one. It seems like a good idea to build burrows in that direction, but it will be a while until I'm there. Whoops, that's the one I wanted. those buildings. Well, <laughs> not all of them, but at least one, two, three, something on that order of magnitude. Which will help me a lot more than, for example, building these so-called money units or building ended. I'm just not convinced that vaulters are any good as governors. Industry efficiency 3, or maybe this one. Influence boost. Influence boost 2. And useless stats. Useless stats. Absolutely no forests. So it's one level for either choosing influence boost two. I mean, it's level 5 and influence boost 1 against level 4 and influence boost 2. Although, this is a bit cheaper. Alright, let's go with this one. And... Wait a minute, what? Whoops. Oh no, I, I was correct, I just had the wrong city selected for some reason. This is the one. Hello. One thing that's annoying, I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's intended behavior, is heroes in reinforcements don't revive using last stand should they die. Hmm, 
think they can chill out here. I don't have enough Titan Bones. Interesting. I produce 8. So 40 per booster period. I suppose I can buy some. this. Uh, if I could find it in the list, that'd be great. Oh, there. Right. as a district, sort of. So you can use them to make tier 2 districts. Oh, of course. Granary. Should have one everywhere.
Did I miss any production buildings here? I don't think so. Ah, but the Titan bones. Definitely want those. I'll just use a one of my first industrial stockpiles in this city. Sure, how much of that there is? Terrain with planes. 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 Yeah, I think it's alright. Sure, seems like the right order for things. Air allies? Right, weapons, yeah. I needed those resource weapons as well. Don't have any of them yet. Finally, I have access to the approval text that I need to really expand my empire. Post start with that. Now I really have enough palladium to get that everywhere. Palladium. This one might be useful, even though it costs 40 glass, uh, 40 glass steel. Fifteen percent science or three three per analysis, I think a bit better. And okay, let's get the twenty six attack and after that the percent the percent base damage. Steel. <laughs> What's your settler doing here? Don't think you'll have much luck. Mm, my wrists. 
which is where I want to use it. Now to queue up useful things. Central market of course. This one, I suppose. I think I have all the production buildings though. None of these are that exciting now. I guess another round of glass steel. Oh, it's uh, it now costs above average, quite a lot above average. Am I to fulfilling that quest? Not very, I have to say. Need three levels. Alright. Let's just get any old building. I don't even care. here because of the two anomalies. under control now. Uh, 
Um, that's the wrong one. This one is what I wanted. Levels. Whoops. That seems fine to build towards that, and the mining rights for glass steel, great, adamantium, yeah, great. Okay, I have a lot of palladium, but I might need that for units. stuff to build. Maybe should put everything into growth. That will allow me to build burrows. I can build a barrow here. So, might be worth it to just pipe glass still, even though it's very expensive. Uh, titanium as well. And just buy stuff. one seems fine. Um, either this or food. Food is more important, definitely. Queue up that burrow here as well, I think. One more turn until I grow. Uh, I always misclick on that one instead of upgrading units for some reason. Those seem a, like a bit of an upgrade. Oh, I don't know why. Cavalry Slayer! Swords or Cavalry Slayer? Slayers? Oh, no, Spears. That makes a lot more sense.
Let's look at the stats beforehand. And another insane stat boost. an army boost, army health boost instead of division thing. Might be nice. Though if I attack everything and kill it before it does stuff, Quest? Nope, just the main quest. That can't progress without me putting some industry into this city. Or buying out stuff, I suppose. How's my approval? Could stand to be better. Lumber mill. Mining rights isn't that important. Sigh. I really, really need the glass steel. <laughs> I 
data proof fiat to come in out next turn. I can finally afford to settle here. And be like, whatever. Don't much care about the order. Steel, nice. Can even get the minor faction slot. Not sure which bonuses I now have. Could maybe get a good one. Let's do that. I'll also have to remember to... Oh. To get a hero in that city next turn. Sources to improve. Of course, the display won't change until next turn. stuff here then. Seems to be at least some terrain that provides a industry bonus, so it's worth it to build canal system. Want to grow or not? I probably just want to grow, and I can queue the barrow before the industrial zone and just have all the 
unneeded stuff go into industrial zone. It'll complete eventually. Huh. Dust boost is probably better than dust efficiency. Seeing as I won't have population in dust production. I have to sell some luxuries to make this happen. <laughs> That's not very much. I, I can sell Palladian. long enough for this video. Plan is still to try to see if I can get a Wanda victory. I just need a bit more XP on this guy. 80 XP. And I'll be able to continue with the quest. Thanks for watching.